sixth grade, unit one, lesson 14, nets and surface area. For this lesson, it's important to know what a geometry net is. A geometry net is a flattened out three-dimensional shape like a cube, a prism, or a pyramid. If you were to cut out the net, fold it, and glue it together, you'd see the three-dimensional shape. A three-dimensional shape has three dimensions, length, width, and height. Here's an example of a geometry net for a cube. I chose a few different colors at random to help represent the different faces of the cube. The blue section represents the bottom. The red section represents the back. The green section represents the front. The black section represents the top. The purple section represents the right side. and the brown section represents the left side. You can fold these sections up to form a cube. Number one, can the following net be assembled into a cube? Explain how you know. Label parts of the net with letters or numbers if it helps your explanation. I labeled the sections the back, the top, the front, the bottom, and the right. But this last section here is in the wrong location to be the left side. It needs to be located on the other side for this net to assemble into a cube. So no, this net cannot be assembled into a cube. Number 2. A. What polyhedron can be assembled from this net? Explain how you know. This net can be assembled to form a triangular prism. A triangular prism. It has two triangular bases and rectangular faces. Find the surface area of this polyhedron. Show your reasoning. To find the surface area of this polyhedron, I'm going to decompose and rearrange. Moving this triangle and joining it with the other triangle forms a rectangle. I'm identifying each of these shapes with their base times their height. 5 times 5, 3 times 5, 4 times 5, and 4 times 3. The areas of these figures are 25 square units, 15 square units, 20 square units, and 12 square units. Add all of their areas up and the area of the original figure is 72 square units. Number three, here are two nets. Mai said that both nets can be assembled into the same triangular prism. Do you agree? Explain or show your reasoning. Here I've labeled the corresponding bases, base one and base two, the front, the right side, and the left side. And it does look like if I fold it along the edges, I could make both of them into triangular shaped prisms. I agree, both A and B can be assembled to form a triangular prism. Number four, here are two three-dimensional figures. Tell whether each of the following statements describes figure A, figure B, both, or neither. A, this figure is a polyhedron. Both. Both figures A and B are polyhedrons. B. This figure has triangular faces. Figure B has triangular faces and figure A has triangular bases, but bases can be considered faces. So the answer is both. Both figures A and B have triangular faces. C. There are more vertices than edges in this figure. Neither. Neither of these figures have more vertices than they do edges. D. This figure has rectangular faces. Figure A. Figure A has rectangular faces. E. This figure is a pyramid. 
Figure B. Figure B is a pyramid. F. There is exactly one face that can be the base for this figure. Neither. Both of these figures have more than one face that could be considered the base for the figure. G. The base of this figure is a triangle. Both. Both of these figures have a triangular shaped base. And finally, H. This figure has two identical and parallel faces that can be the base. Figure A. Figure A has exactly two identical and parallel faces that can be the base. The answer can't be figure B, because figure B has three identical faces, and neither of them are parallel. Number 5. Select all units that can be used for surface area. Explain why the others cannot be used for surface area. Remember, to find the surface area, we need two dimensions, base times height. A. Square meters can be used for surface area. E. Square inches can be used for surface area. And F. Square feet can be used for surface area. Square meters, square inches, and square feet are the result of multiplying the base times the height which is two-dimensional, and that's exactly what a surface area is, two-dimensional, base and height. B, feet. Feet is a unit of length that can't be used for surface area because length is just one dimension, and remember, it has to be two-dimensional, like length times height. C, centimeters. That's also a unit of length and can't be used for surface area because length is only one dimension and D, cubic inches, that's a unit of volume and cannot be used for surface area. Volume measures the amount of space that a substance or an object occupies. For example, a container. Volume has three dimensions, base times height times length. Number six, find the area of this polygon. Show your reasoning. First, I'm going to decompose and rearrange this shape, moving this triangle to the other side, forming a parallelogram. I'm also going to decompose this top triangle, making two smaller identical triangles, moving one of the triangles to the other triangle, forming a square. Now I have three figures that are really easy to find the area of. A large rectangle with the dimensions of 6 by 3, a square with dimensions of 3 by 3, and a parallelogram with the dimensions of 2 by 3. Now we can find their area by multiplying the base times the height. 6 times 3 is 18, 3 times 3 is 9, and 2 times 3 is 6. The area of each of these shapes can be added together to find the total area of the original polygon. The area is 33 square units.